Welcome back to Man Across New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling. As you see what's going on on our lovely island of Vaughan Hollow today in a pre recorded episode because I am busy this evening. So we are going to be doing a bit of Happy Home Paradise customization. Um, I haven't done Happy Home Paradise customization for ages. So, you know, maybe I've lost my touch. Maybe I've lost my natural instincts for it, which could or could not be the case. Um, how am I feeling about it? I'm, you know, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm, I can't say I'm particularly like jazzed up to do Happy in Paradise. It, it's not the sort of thing where it was like distance made, the heart grow fonder, or maybe it's not been long enough or whatever. I think I probably really did burn myself out quite a bit whenever I did like 15 of them or something. But anyway, um, this would be like, um, good evening everyone. Right now it's 9.19pm on uh, Thursday the 11th of May at, yeah, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> um, what, what uh, 2023? Is that what Isabel says? I feel like, no, 11, yeah, I feel like that's what Isabel says. Anyway, I haven't had Happy in Paradise for ages, but I, I, I've got to be honest, I haven't had like a major craving to do it or anything like that, you know? It's not like, I don't hate it or anything, I just feel like it's like, meh, it's okay. <laughs> like, talking is like fun and like easy to do. Happy in Paradise requires a bit of thought, but it's not like, it's not like crazy or anything like that. It's just sort of like, a, yeah, it's a nice sort of like thing, fun thing to do every once again, but maybe it'll be more fun once I actually do it. You know, maybe I'll start doing it and be like, oh, yeah, this is my jam. And I forgot this is what it is. This is, feel the rush. Ooh, you know, feng shui, all that sort of thing. Um, <laughs> I found it funny when I said feng shui, which is, you know, a very sort of like anglicized way of to say feng shui. Um, but actually, I don't know the tones on it, so who knows? But anyway, we're, we're just going to, you know, we're, we're just going to send it, you know, as we usually do in Happy End Paradise. No, no think, head, no, what? Bra brain empty, no thinking, just go boom. Boom, 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 boom. Something like that, you know. We don't need to, to pause. We don't need to contemplate. We just be like, whatever's on our mind, we do it like immediately. Because that's what we do, you know, in Happy in Paradise. That's just kind of the vibes we go for. Because it's, you know, it's what I like to do, you know. It helps uh, helps keep the flow of things going, you know. And otherwise, if I if I think too much and conversationally, I will just explode. No. Um, <laughs> conversationally, I, I feel it will stilt things a bit too much. So what do you mean should we do? A gym? We've done that like a million times. Soccer, we've done that at least three times, or no, at least twice. Uh, I'm using the Joy-Con, Drifty Joy-Cons. Maybe that'll be um, the challenge really. All right, okay, well, Del, you want us, so I guess we'll do whatever yours is. I think yours is like a spaceship or something, right? I don't know if I'm making it up. We'll see if the Joy-Con Drift is bad enough. I actually, I, you, know, you know what? I, I should change to a non-Joy-Con, Drifty Joy-Cons. Hold on. Okay, and I'm back. Um, So what, what do you want? I, I feel like it was an alien spaceship. No, never mind. Cabin for a sea voyage. Okay, so, you know, we, we've done this like 50 million times. Um, the amount of seaside-based um, operations and buildings we've done is unsurprising. But uh, we could put you here. I don't know why Rosie's here. But Rosie's probably there just to fit up the numbers. Um, so we we, we want to give you like a sea-based one. I'm just looking for one which doesn't have many people. We could do you that one, maybe? I'm just looking for other ones which have peers, which don't have necessarily all that many people. I'm not going to give you that one because that, one, that just makes no sense. Um, I'm kind of tempted to give you this one, or no, I don't. I don't know. I think giving you a peer makes more sense. But I also feel like like those two, Rod, Rod and Vic, we've already given peers to, so it's a bit, you know, reductive to do it again, again. But unfortunately, that's the only peer-related one. My peer-related wish. Peer-related wish. Um. Should we just do this one? Yeah, why not? I don't know. Don't think too hard. As I said, head empty. You might be like, what song were you singing? Well, that is Tree-Related Wish from Phineas and Ferb. Sung by Jeremy, I think. The character. It's from the Wizard of Oz parody. You know, that seems like a staple, you know. If you're going to do, like... Uh, every single like show always needs to have its like the, the, the trifecta of I suppose parodies it does. Wizard of Oz, the Christmas a Christmas Carol, and then I don't know what the third one would be. Like um, <laughs> I don't know why Ozzy Mandy yes, came to mind. That's not what I meant, but but probably for some like the Gift of a Magi or something, you know. But there's always the three like s conventional stories which always end up needing to be parried in some form or another. Okay, hold on. Let, let's actually focus in here. Del, what do you actually want customization wise? I've got literally nothing in mind for you because you gave me not a lot prompt wise. A cabin for my sea voyage. Um, it's not it's not really cabin um esque furniture though. It just kind of looks like you want sea related, sea related wish. 
Um, okay, so how are we going to make this even remotely different? It's kind of like you want to be a pirate, but we don't want to make you just exactly a pirate. So, I think what we'll do... Oh god, it's, it's going to be really hard to make us feel different. We'll, we'll do that as an accent war. I don't know why on earth this, this is recommended. Why is that a recommended wall? That's such a weird wall. Simple blue? Water? Why, why don't we do this? Um, let's make it uh, slightly bigger. I want to have like a pool thing in the middle. Um, we'll, we'll just stick with that for now and keep it oceany. What I want to do, because I think it'll be fun, is we'll get the rug. Get the, um, get the wooden panel rugs. Which one, you might ask? This one? Question mark? No, we, we should do the black one because that's just sort of the vibes we've got going on. Uh, we'll do it like this. I want it such that you have like a, a central... Central limit theorem. No, you have like a central little pool thing. Like this is how your room is set up. Because it, I mean that seems kind of interesting. You know, we're we're here for uniqueness. We're not here for practicality anymore. We we've very much gone past the need for conventional um living quarters. We're very much here for like the experiment, the experimental, the weird, the wacky, the wonderful, the sort of things which you know you could put um in a museum from a million years from now, being like unconventional approaches to design and modern decor or something like that. You know? Like, you look at this and you go, like, this looks like it's going to be some funky stuff. And that's exactly what we're here for. Some funky stuff. Um, I actually think, to make us even more different, we're going to put the accent wall on this side. So it's like you're coming in from a sea into a, like, a, sort of like a, you're, you're like an open house arrangement. Um... Uh, I guess we'll make it quite fancy. You got a lot of elegant bed-looking things, so, and we'll do like silver and silver and gold. That's a bit of a weird combo, I suppose. But silver and silver and white. Why not? So we're we're just gonna have like the weirdest, just just the strangest customization option. I want you to look at this and be like, "What on earth are you doing? Is there like a hidden genius behind all of this?" And the answer is no, not really. It's just. It's just kind of weird for the sake of being weird, I'm going to be honest. Let's not beat around the bush, that's exactly what it is. And then we'll use the customization, uh, the, the watery customization stuff outside. I, I fear this Joy-Con is getting even more Joy-Con drifty. I don't know why enough you need a throne. Sitting all alone on a throne in a palace that I happen to own. Bring me some pheasant, keep it on the bone. Fill my goblet up to the rim Sipping on me as I spill it on my dress of a gold lace trim Not very prim and proper uh, How on earth you- so I guess this is how you like Sit about, right? Oh god, come on Not a lot of room to do things properly, I would say Not a lot of- not a lot of room, not a lot of to say So what's wrong with taking the back streets? Like, if you lived here, you'd be like, how do you get anywhere? There's no room to actually, like, navigate anywhere. But you'd be like, it's provocative. We'll put some powers here. We'll make it at least look somewhat piratey. We, it's like fancy piratey, I suppose. Is fa Fancy pirate core is perhaps the, the sort of style we're going for. I don't know if we want a inflatable ring, but we probably do want, like, ducks or something. Yeah. A decoy duck. Um... Just to sort of be chilling in the water. I guess we'll do this one because it kind of colour-wise fits-ish. And then we'll colour this one the stream a duck or whatever coloration. Um I feel like there's probably gonna be more things on the walls than are necessarily gonna be on the, the ground. Dark brown? Black. Excuse me, Joy-Cons? Would you mind, Antique? Yeah, so just, you know, somewhere like that. Just ra random stuff piled up here and there. This is your loot, I assume. Gold bars? That's how rich you are? You just keep gold bars? Over here on, on your dresser? 
for easy access. Boss of ship. I'm a ship in a bottle. You better rub me the way away. A little bit of, um, I don't even know who sings that. Fergie, maybe? Let me see. I'm a genie in a bottle. Oh, Christina Aguilera, of course. It's not Fergie. You out of your mind? You better rub me the way away. Ah, da 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 I'm a genie in a bottle. You better rub me. <laughs> it's, it's my head now, unsurprisingly. Um, I kind of want the globe. I don't remember where the globe is. It's been so long that I don't know where anything is. I don't even know what it's called. I assume it's called, like, Fancy Globe. Let's try and find it. Globe. Golden. Hmm. Well, I guess we could use this. Just to, like, you know, that, that's how you get all your gold. Um. What's it called? I don't know. I had to Google it. New Horizons Fancy Globe? Cool Globe. Okay. It's a cool globe. Oh my god, Joy-Cons. They, they won't go down. They can go only go up. The line that only goes up. Um, cool globe. Is it a small item? It's not here? Huh. Maybe it's a small item. Okay, maybe let's... Not do it alphabetically like this. Anyone here start with C? Chevre? You start with C. That's not Chevre. Cool globe. Okay, cool globes. Here we go. Cool globes. That's what I wanted. I wanted this here. So we could put this to the side. And then we could put a treasure map up here. So we can at least at least make allusions to the fact that you are probably a pirate of some sort. I guess the life ring also feels reasonable in here. Maybe you just sort of like float a float on it in um in idle times. You know, this is where you go to relax is your own pool in the middle of your own house. Um map, map. It's a map, it's a map, it's a map, it's a map. Is Dory the Explorer still going on or is it like I was gonna say shut down, that's not really the right word. Is it like closed? Sword? It's not really a pirate sword, but I suppose we'll I'll keep it here, numberless. At the ready. Gold and black, so fancy. Pierced object. An old map. Probably makes more sense on the thing, but still. We can pop out there. I then I think I want like empty bottles. So then you can be like, ooh, yeah, this is um drinking time. I think a bucket makes sense. I feel like whenever I'm in doubt and I need something a little bit rustic, wooden bucket. So don't know where the bottles are. You know what I'm talking about? Decorative bottles? Actually, I could probably just search for it, but I know what they're called. Decorative bottles. There we are. We just want to look at, make it look like a bottle of rum. So probably just brown bottles are fine. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum. And then, okay, what would be wall mounted? What would you have above you? I think you'd have a picture of yourself, but got like gold plated. You know, you're you're not very shy about flaunting the, the wealth that you've accrued. Over the years, I think a world map feels reasonable. We'll do it over the Atlantic Ocean, you know. Because that's the ones I'm used to. So seeing seeing the other maps just feels weird. Pacific Ocean based map. Obviously there's nothing inherently weird about it. It's just like I'm not used to it. A singing Marlin. What a true darling. Just gives some more lopsidedness I think to this customization. Just to make it a bit more interesting. I don't mean that. I meant. I was going to do like a coconut planter. But I don't really know where to put it. So I think we're just not going to do that. And I think we're not going to do birds, despite the fact that we've got something open. It's more like, we don't have to do that. Tropical rug could be interesting. I don't like. We have an island in the middle of a thing. Doesn't really make sense. I think we'll do this. But I do think we want to give you a slight blue-ish light. 
Something like that, you know. We are, we are tenters, so we can give you like a gold light, but. Um, sailor. Tinker Tailor, Soldier Spy. Um, I mean, wait, do you have pirate outfits recommended? Because I feel like you should be wearing a pirate outfit. But no, we're going to give you a sailor because I don't think we have a... We have a people we probably gave a pirate outfit, but... Sailor outfit we didn't give to you. You're more like a sailor gone bad or something. Good sailor gone bad. Like one of these, maybe? Yeah, right. And then, I don't know, do you want a cat? No, we want to give you a sailor hat. If we if we have the opportunity to use sailor esque outfits, it's not very common, so we might as well. I think that's a better sort of colour differential. But you can have a an eye patch? No. Keep it like that. You know. You're like a a sailor who has their own secret like agendas or whatever. You know, who 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 cares if you like skim a little money off the top and here and there, you know? Some people call that embezzlement, but some people call it um, my college fund. That doesn't make sense. It's like a boomer joke, but it doesn't even make sense. Um, so I like to think you'd probably be living in like a lavish mountain. Uh, I was going to say mansion. No, I was going to say mountain, but I meant mansion. Uh, but there's not enough space. It's got to be enough space. Yeah, look at that. That's enough space. Uncentered, just like just how we like it. I don't think I want black shingles. I don't think I want blue either. I want like dark blue, but it's not really an option. I guess that's kind of dark blue. Dark blue, black and gold. What a terrible colour combination. It's just it's just cursed. But I'm still going to stick with it, to be honest. What if you're a pirate who turned into a sailor? You know, it's the other way around. Now that's interesting. That's like character development or something. But you still got the sailor guard, you still got the, the pirate guard because that's like, that's the entire life you've known, you know, you don't know anything else. Instead, you just want sort of like your own quiet life of luxury. But alas, everyone just keeps trying to rope you back in, get you in like arrested for your crimes or something that you've done on high waters. Everyone knows that if you're in the ocean, you can do whatever crimes you want. There's no laws in the ocean. You're going to try and arrest me in Bermuda Triangle? I'd like to see you try. I don't know why I'm going with this. These jokes don't even make sense. Please don't say what and take anything or what I'm saying seriously. I'm just saying random stuff, to be honest. Um, I'd say it'd be reasonable that you have a lighthouse here. Blue and white striped lighthouse, why not? So it's sort of like, we look at you and be like, is this person a sailor? Are they a pirate? I don't know. I didn't want a bed, I wanted a wave breaker. So that feels like a reasonable thing to probably have around here and then and then what any other final things we could just like pop some shells down could be a bit of fun decorate decorate as the ground um let us for one find what the shells even are I need summer shells and spiral shells you know stuff like this keep keep the blue theme coming on You know what we want. The crowd goes absolutely wild for the blue thematics being kept. You know how they are. They love their colour coordination and who can blame them? When it when it's done this well by a colour matching expert like me. I don't know what I'm saying. Just you know, just get give time to relish in your own accomplishments. There you go. Um it's okay. It's probably how I describe it. Do we? I don't think we change the weather or anything. Summer, summer feels reasonable. I and mean, we did do the time. Let's make it rainy. Why not? Just, just still for fun. Sorry, Dale, if you don't like the rain. There you go. Um, do we need to polish things? That's a good question. I guess we can make things shine. Let's all come together to make this house shine. Like we'll make the gold shine. Because, you know, tis a twinkle in your eye. Um, 
I don't know if anything else needs to... I guess we can make the sword look a bit ominous. Like a... Ooh. I mean, that makes it look like it's ill. I guess stress buzz. Stress buzz is a... Always a good one for that. There you go. So now it's effectively ambiguous. Is this person a villain? Are they not? Who knows? Um... Yeah, alright. I don't know if there's any other sort of... Hold on, not quite yet. Why is this not playing any music? Oh, that's a lamp! That's not a... I thought that was a... I thought that was a shell music player. I was thinking, I was like, it's, it's not brighter than I expected, but... Um... Does that mean you don't have a... Oh, this is for sure. This is what I thought. We should just keep white. And let's get rid of a bucket and put this down instead. The music just makes things ooh, feel a bit more lively. I think we're done. It's ready. How's that? Fine, I would say. I feel like <laughs> I feel like I wasn't that infused by this customization idea, mainly because I've done quite similar things before. But it seems like something you could have a bit of fun with. I'm gonna be honest. Dell, what's it? What, what's this one called? Cabin for my sea voyage. Uh, at least we did something different. I would say this is very unique compared to the other sort of cabin things we've done. That is crazy. What is this? Some made a full-on pirate ship. That's insane. It's like a, I don't even know what this is, it's like a storage section of like a ship or something. Ah, this is, this person probably actually followed the prompt properly. This is what they probably wanted. They probably want a head, um, a captain's quarters. Like a, a cabin, like inside a ship. That makes sense. Okay. I was wondering what this wanted. <laughs> I was like, why are there so many like open sea views and that sort of thing? But this is probably what they wanted. Good job, you. Um, yeah, I'll take a photo. Why not? I don't really know what I've done, to be honest. I've, I've just sort of done whatever. I, I just think it's an interesting house layout, you know? I just think it's neat. In the infamous, in, infamous, infamous words of Marge Simpson. I don't know what sort of angle makes most sense. If we do this, it makes it look like... Makes it kind of look like he's looking at the sword. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit uneerie, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, but uneerie? A little bit eerie in general. Nice, okay. Well, that's one customization down. And I'll record one more. Just to be on the safe side. Um, I think that's an okay customization. Uh, I don't think that's like anything particularly special. I think it's fine. Oh my god, we have so many. So much pokey. What are we even gonna do with all this pokey? Uh, I, I'll work a little longer. We'll do one more customization. But for now, I'm going to round this episode off here. So if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Adam across New Horizons. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, subscription, shares. Greatly appreciated. Twitter, Discord down below. Hope to see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, when the loading screen comes through. Bye-bye for now.